what's going on y'all so we're back at it again and today I wanted to break down the wheels that I have on my truck backstory is if you haven't seen any of my other videos I purchased this truck back in 2016 and I have had these wheels on it since 2016 I'm in Iowa and we deal with winter when I first got the truck my first thought was maybe I'm going to take these wheels off throw on like well first off I didn't even have stock wheels or factory 20s this truck had factory 20s when it was new but I don't have them I thought about getting some other wheels and I'm like, dude, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to run the powder coated wheels. They're powder coated slash plastic, but they're the KMC Rockstar 2 wheels. So they have plastic on them. And I was like, dude, I'm just going to run them and we're going to see what happens. So we've got a solid six years. Actually, yeah, we have a solid six years with this truck. Actually, we're just over six years with it. And every winter I have driven the truck in the snow four high, four low, whatever. I have one of those automatic car wash passes. The deal with it, there's always brushes going, so a lot of people will tell you, don't go through an automatic car wash because of the brush, it scratches your paint. Yes, it does, but I have white paint. You hardly ever see these scratches. Is my truck scratched up from it? Yes, but like you'll probably never notice it. And I would just get it buffed out for that matter. But I'm not worried about it because I have a light vehicle. That's half the reason why I like having lighter vehicles is because that simple fact. So the brushes are also going to hit the truck. They're also going to hit the wheels. But the biggest thing when you, you know, not all of them are like this, but basically they're all this style now, is there's a track that you have to go through and you have to stick your car in neutral and then the track pushes you through. The car wash that I go to on a regular basis, it actually tells you, it doesn't say anything about bigger wheels but the same brand of car wash in another location actually says something about the about having wheels and you know they're not liable for them whatever I know going into the car wash that my wheels are bigger than normal and that there's a chance that they could get scraped up or whatever I don't care they're black wheels I run them in the winter I don't care and the one thing I have noticed is going through the guide and probably just the brushes they have wore just the tiniest of like black paint off the lip so there's like a little silver exposed but you would only notice it at a stop and you'd have to probably get up pretty close to it so it's not really that big of a deal but overall if looking back now I don't think it's that big a deal it's black wheels if I clean them up the truck looks dope the only thing that I think that's really that needs fixed on the exterior of the truck right now is the stupid quarter panel rust but it is what it is, so we're gonna deal with it. Wrigley, hey, what are you thinking? Bass Pro? We gotta do a Bass Pro run. Last day of the Spring Classic. I need to go get some lures because I'm going to fish this weekend, both days, and then the following weekend I have a tournament, so we need to get a couple more lures that I need to throw, want to throw, and um, Wrigley's going to pull me through the store like crazy. Wrigley, are you gonna pull me through the store like crazy? He is. The trip is complete. Wrigley's happy, but he didn't get a treat today, so I don't, I don't think the trip was a complete success. But we're gonna show you guys what do we got with the wheels. So as you guys can see, there's like wear marks right here. Basically, a lot of that is just from from the brushes. I mean. But the plastic is still in really good shape. This is plastic, this is plastic. This is all powder coat. 
Like, the wheels are a little dirty. I need to actually clean them, but the actual finish, besides this little, like, wear mark throughout here, they've actually held up pretty well. Um, like, I don't see any paint degradation because powder coat holds up really well, especially if it's done correctly. So, that's that wheel. The other thing is, though, I did hit a curb. Right here. I jacked that wheel up. There is right here. It almost kind of looks like some sort of rust forming. This wheel is fine besides this part, which I did that and I remember when I did it. I stuck my truck in four high, left my driveway because we got a lot of snow, got on it, got sideways, overestimated how slick it was out, and I hit the curb in front of my neighbor's house. If they seen me, they're like, what a jackass, he deserved to do it, and I did. Let's go around, check out the other wheels. So, this one's not wore as bad, but the, I only have the one wheel with that like paint bubble, so I don't really know what the deal is with that. They're just a little dusty from brake dust. I just ran it through the car wash, as you guys seen, but you know, the brushes aren't gonna get these. These wheels are a pain in the ass to keep clean. So, they're a very big pain, but I like them a lot. But they just have just the little wear, like you'd have to really be looking to see it. To me, it's just it's just not that bad. And the last wheel, I don't know why. So one wheel basically don't have any like paint wear on it. Like that one's got some there, but a lot of that is from the automatic car wash. I don't really think that has to do with the Iowa winter or the snow by any means or the salt they put down. Like this might be from the salt. So this one does have a little like wear on it but it's still not that bad i mean we're talking i've ran it six years solid through iowa winters so it's fine with me i mean you could run your factory wheels it's gonna do the same thing so i don't understand why people i could see if you had chrome wheels i know a lot of people still run the chrome wheels it's either the old guys love their chrome or it's these younger kids are putting the, the big wide chrome wheels on their truck it's just not for me i couldn't put chrome wheels on this or any truck for that matter but I have proved myself wrong before, so who knows. If you're looking to keep your wheels, you know, clean, mint, then put your, if keep your factories. But a lot of people these days, now you buy a newer truck with 20s or something like that, people sell off their factory wheels because you basically can recoup and that helps go towards your aftermarket ones. And honestly, half, I swear half the people don't even keep their truck or car long enough to even actually notice that the wheels degrading and if even if it is look at my truck it's not that bad like if somebody wants to come by my truck they're probably not going to be too nitpicky about that because the way the truck look is clean Okay, in conclusion, Wrigley, what do you think? Do you highly recommend running black slash powder coated wheels in the winter time? So that's the deal with the powder coated wheels. I think that it's a no brainer, just run them. I mean, first off, how many people can keep their vehicles for more than five years anyway? I don't know, maybe it's a 50-50 crapshoot, but I know I'm one of the ones that want to keep my vehicle for quite a while because I want to get my use out of it. Maybe if you're running like chrome wheels or those forged wheels, whatever, I pay no attention to them. I'm not into that whole whole gang of what they got going, but I just know if I was going to run powder coated wheels, just run them 24-7. Maybe, I don't see, I have the matte finish one, so maybe if you run the gloss blacks, it could potentially mess up the finish, but I believe those are all powder coat as well. So I would think you'd be safe. So I think the finish held up. Worst case scenario, if it didn't, I have a buddy who's a powder coater and doing wheels is his least favorite thing. So I would love for him to do the wheels on my truck, but then I would need another set to put on the truck and it's just not gonna happen. We're just gonna keep running them and running them and running them until I sell it. And it's gonna get sold the way it is. So that's all I have for this episode. Until the next one, Wrigley. You want to close out the video? He 
he's not a, he's not actually closing out the video. He just he, he wants petted, so he puts his paw up. So peace.